We go alive. This gonna be a surprise. Let's see who makes it up in here. We probably won't get too many people tonight because I ain't say nothing nowhere about going live. But we gonna see. We gonna find out. To, yeah. Let's see here. Ooh, I like a little setup over there. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Go live. Hmm. Yep, now I'm just waiting for some people to get here. Ain't nobody got here yet. Ain't nobody got here yet. Okay. Get on Twitch. Waiting for the people to pile up in here. Then we're going to get this day rocking and rolling. Ain't nobody here yet because ain't nobody knew I was going live. I ain't saying that. Oh, wait. There are some people here. There are some people here. What's up, Mafia? In the building. Make sure y'all hitting that like button on the way in. Hit that like button on the way in. Hit that like button on the way in. We is here. Good evening. Happy Thursday. Welcome. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are doing well. Man, I must say, this is the best. Even though I don't feel 100%, this is the best that I have felt in whew, over a month easily. But let's give some shout outs to my peoples that's coming up in here. My channel members. Goodness gracious. We got Ken. We got Miss Hatcher. Hunted Expedition. Candace. Lady. Vilified. Jennifer. Jeffrey. Daniel. The Viking. Tiff. Tiff. Dark. We got Dollar Silver up in here. JBZ. Omar. Was good. Libby. Elizabeth. Sazzle Dazzle. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Uncanny. Caroline. Jack Jack. Angela, King Cole, Heather, was good with you, Sabrina, I see you, Angela, Mary, Aaron, who is that, who is that, is that little mama, what's up little mama, <laughs> what up Panda Assassin, what's good with you, we in here baby, we is in here, welcome everybody, make sure y'all hitting that like button on the way in so we can get to that hundred, that two hundred and fifty live viewers, so I can do my intro. We can get this thing rocking and rolling. Yo, we doing one video tonight, but it's a long video, so we probably gonna be here close to an hour and a half this evening. An hour and twenty on the low end. Hour twenty, you know what I'm saying, on the low end. But we here. We are here. Yes, yes. Y'all know what to put in the chat. Y'all see the man's face on the screen. Slap ham is where it's at. Put it in the chat. We need to slap in the ham emoji. There we go. I'm starting to see some. Nikia. Then put the, the slap in the ham <laughs> emojis in the chizette. I see a few sass dazzle. I see a few of them up in here. We need that slap ham in the chat, y'all. It's time already. What up, AOK okay, Mafia? It's your boy, Art of Kicks. And just like that, we back with another one. Did y'all see the video that I posted earlier? I told a story. A story about an insane roommate. Not roommate. I'm sorry. Next door neighbor. Felt like a roommate. He lives so close. Next door neighbor of mine from a few years ago. 10 years ago, 10 plus years ago, who is currently serving life in prison. I told that story right here on this channel. If you go through my videos, you'll see it's the most recent video that I posted outside of this live stream. But it's a good story. People love the story. I said, hey, if y'all want a part two to that story, put it in the chat. I feel like every comment that was left was, I need a part two. So part two, y'all shall get tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. But if you need some more content, from your boy after this live stream. I posted that story time video and I posted a video to the second channel today as well. Your boy's working, your boy's working. I'm feeling better, I feel well enough to work. So why not, why not? Give y'all a live stream on top of it. But we're about to get this party started y'all. This is Slap Him. 
scary videos you need to be warned about. I like the title already. I like the title. <sighs> yeah, we got a new channel member in the building. Let's go. Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some of the scariest videos going around the internet. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just, Just like, like this. this. Oh, whoa, what's he doing? Our first clip of the day has been going viral this past couple of weeks. Its origins are a mystery, but this version was uploaded to Twitter by Sidio Paranormal. It was captured in the emergency department of an undisclosed hospital. Take a look. My guy's tripping. A patient is behaving strangely as hospital staff watch on. He's possessed. He, it, it, it's weird. It feel like he's not sturdy up there. I feel like he should fall over easily, but something got a hold of him. He is standing up quite fine. He waves his hands around in the air. Eventually, the staff try to calm him down. At the end, it almost looks like he comes to his senses and begins to recognise what's actually going on. Initially, when this clip started doing the social media rounds, many were calling it a demonic possession caught on camera. But most likely, the man is extremely intoxicated by an unknown substance. However, there's no denying his grand, over-the-top gestures at the beginning of the video are unsettling to see and invoke images of someone in the throes of something demonic. This is fascinating. I wonder if this is real. This looks like a real hospital room. I feel like he's possessed by a vampire. When user Space and Flowers uploaded an eerie photo to Reddit, it left the community a buzz with talk of whether or not it shows a real ghost. At first, the photo, which was taken at a children's museum, appears perfectly normal. That is until you take a look at the upper right-hand corner of the image. In the a hey, wolf on Twitch, I we did that video on this channel already, actually. We did it um a few weeks ago. Yeah, that woman was crazy. Yeah, he's talking about the video of the woman that put the freaking um bleach or whatever it was in her husband's coffee every morning. Y'all remember that? We did that a few weeks ago. Window, you can make out what looks like two dark hands pressed up against the glass. I see it. There's even the faint impression of a head and torso. The poster no I almost thought it was handprints. Look, like this. You see, there's like drawings on the on the inside of this glass. I thought it was just somebody left their dirty handprints on the glass. It's that the room is normally used for arts and crafts and that the window is often covered in chalk and paint. Right. As you can see here in this photo. Clearly. However, the window gets thoroughly cleaned every evening at closing time. Mm -hmm. Here's a photo of what it normally looks like. Gotcha. The window is clear, and there doesn't appear to be anything that would give the impression of a transparent figure pressing their hands on the glass. So what are we looking at here then? The OP followed up the image by saying that a lot of the cleaning staff at the museum have said that they believe the property is haunted. So are the handprints just leftovers from one of the arts and crafts sessions? If so, then how do you explain the partially visible head and torso? Yeah, I do see that too now. Now that we done zoomed in a bit closer, you got the hand here, hand there, and then it look like a head 
and upper torso here, but it looked like it's away from the window a little bit. Love to hear your thoughts on this eerie photo in the comments down below. My thoughts are paranormal. Creepy. This looks familiar. Our first clip of the day is an eerie little sighting uploaded to TikTok by Elkakui.tv. It's late at night and a vehicle is making its way through a dimly lit one-way tunnel. Soon, the driver spots something quite unusual. Take a look. This looks very familiar. Ah, you saw that? Don't stop, keep going. As they pass by, you can make out what looks like a small child standing on the side of the road. Don't blink, you might miss it. Here it come. Look at that, look at that. Ugh. It could have been it could have been a child or somebody walking along this um this road and when they realized that there was a vehicle coming because this area is so narrow and you know they wanted to make sure that nobody was going to run into them so they stayed and leaned back against the wall or the inside of this cave they just leaned back and was like you know what I'm going to wait till this vehicle passes by me and then I'll go Passenger and the driver himself ask if that was a kid. Y'all, we try to get 500 likes by the end of this live stream. We already at 187. I know we can do it. Let's go. Naturally, viewers have come to two possible conclusions, and both are just as eerie. The first is that what we're seeing is a genuinely lost child stuck in the middle of a road in a dimly lit tunnel in what appears to be the middle of nowhere. The second conclusion that some viewers reached. Sorry, Brandy, for your... I heard. I heard that you lost your father. I'm so sorry to hear that. Prayers to you and your mother and your family. Is that it's an apparition of a child, perhaps someone who sadly lost their lives along this very stretch of road. So either way, both scenarios are sad and eerie. Apparition, huh? In October 2022, Reddit Phantom 88 posted some bizarre CCTV footage that was captured outside of his dad's workplace. The footage shows a night vision view of a small deserted roadway. Okay. It's a little before midnight when something horrible comes into view. Watch. Ah, uh, I remember this. I remember this. We don't see this clip about 50 11 times. Although distorted, it looks to be two transparent figures hobbling along the road. The one in the back walks more upright, while the figure in the foreground is hunched over and almost looks to be walking on all fours. Both shapes are largely transparent, so you can't make any definite features. Yet some Redditors have suggested that it reminds them of a demon walking next to a vicious hellhound. Here it is again in slow motion. Other viewers are a bit more skeptical. They think it could just be a normal person smoking a cigarette, which would explain the glowing near the top of the shape and that they're out walking their very normal dog. However, the strange appearance of the shapes makes others less certain that this video could be showing anything so mundane. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this very strange piece of footage. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Mags. This next one's been doing the social media rounds this past week, prompting viewers to wonder if teleportation is a real thing. TikToker Leslie XO was happily watching the evening news when they spotted something quite unusual in the background of an interview. Take a look. Whoa! Watching that again, you can see a man materialize out of nowhere. No! What? Initially, some people thought that there must have been a cut in the footage, 
But if you watch the women in the foreground, there doesn't appear to be a cut at all. Yo! Then some people suggested it could be a green screen, but the news anchor and the interviewee appeared to be there in person. You can even see their hair blowing in the breeze. <laughs> this man teleported at the wrong place, at the wrong, and in the wrong place at the wrong time. Because he definitely got caught on camera. That, now, I, now that I know that teleporting exists, now I need to know how to do it myself because if I can avoid flying anywhere, I would. I would save a lot of money and time. Come on now. I just teleport. Phew! The best and most enjoyable theory thrown out there is that what we're seeing is a man teleporting on live TV. Perhaps he's a time traveler on an important mission to alter our timeline. One commenter jokingly said that time travelers have to go to the grocery store just like everyone else. Okay. So what do you make of this bizarre sighting? Technical glitch or genuine time traveler? Furiously type your opinions in the comments down below. Man, maybe he's not a time traveler. Maybe he's just a time jumper. Nah, not time, but maybe he can just teleport. <laughs> Some strange activity has been caught on a restaurant's CCTV system and many viewers are calling it supernatural. In the early hours of April 10th, 2022, Reddit user Muan2012 was finishing his evening shift at a restaurant when something strange happened in the back room. The OP and his co-workers heard a banging noise as though objects were being flung around in the office. When they looked in the room, there was nothing out of the ordinary. Luckily, the CCTV camera was running the whole time. This is what it captured. Show me. The heck? What was that? Yeah, it's nearly that. 1 a.m. when a laptop comes flying out of a cupboard in the back room. Dang. That was aggressive. When the footage hit Reddit, responses varied. Some thought it was just the workers pulling a prank for that sweet Reddit cred. That would be messed up. Yeah, that laptop would be broken for a prank? Come on now. But the OP responded saying, why would they risk breaking a work laptop for a few internet views? Exactly what I said. Others thought it was the work of a poltergeist, a type of spiritual entity that many believe has the power to interact with the physical world. So I'll throw this one out to you for final judgment. What do you think's been caught on CCTV here? Is it just a prank, a coincidence, or something a little more mysterious? Let me know in the comments down below. An eerie clip from TikToker Coco Handoko 27 has been causing viewers to do a double take. The TikTok shows a group of construction workers standing around a work site at the Paboya gold mine in northern Indonesia. At first, everything in the video may seem normal, but take a good long look at each of the workers as the camera rolls. See if you can spot anything odd. <laughs> One of the first men that the camera captures appears to be missing his head. The camera moves quickly, but once you see it, it's impossible to miss. We see his high visibility vest, the top of a black turtleneck shirt, and then nothing. According to the TikToker, the man in the video is just an ordinary person who appeared healthy and normal before and after the recording. Interesting. Some viewers said it could just be a glitch in the camera or even a spare work shirt propped up on something, making it look like a headless person. Right. But that doesn't take into account the uploader's testimony that the person was perfectly normal at the time of recording. If nah, he's, he, he, he's a vampire. That's why you can't see him. He, he's... You see his clothes, but you can't see him. This was just an isolated incident, then you might just chalk it up as a glitch in the camera. You don't see his but arms, his hands, nothing. Creepy thing is, Indonesia has many reports of headless apparitions having been spotted all over the country. This pic here shows a group of students hanging out and posing for a group photo. However, in the background, you can see a headless torso in yellow standing behind the group. Yes, you can. 
That's crazy. Then this photo here, taken in Palankaraya, Indonesia. Golly, what's up with Indonesia with all these headless people? There's another headless person standing in the background. So what's going on here then? According to Indonesian folklore, particularly around Bali, there are types of spirits called layaks that can manifest as headless bodies. Many Balinese people believe that layaks are actually practitioners of black magic and that during the day they appear human. But if you spot one at night time, they appear grotesque with their organs hanging outside of their bodies. So could these sightings be evidence that the legendary layak really does exist? Take another look and decide for yourself. <laughs> 275 we just passed the halfway mark to our goal for hitting 500 likes during this live stream luckily we're not even halfway through this video hit that like button for your boy This next one is some bizarre CCTV footage taken in an unknown back alley. Everything seems normal, but keep an eye on the cat. I see the cat, like a black cat. What the cat doing? Cat being nosy. Oh snap, this cat done started a fire. He gonna run off like he didn't do nothing. <laughs> Yeah, the cat started a fire. Watching that again, it looks like the cat starts a fire among a pile of rubbish in the corner of the alley. Man, that could be a coincidence. Two things could have happened. Three things could have happened. One of those three things being that the cat could have started that fire with his magic powers, his black cat magic powers. The other two things, somebody could have lit a cigarette and threw it over there in the corner out the window above. Or lit a match and threw it down there, knowing that this little pile of rubbish would catch on fire. And nobody caught on to that little fire over there yet? That cat gone. He dipped. He Cats like, have a long history of being associated with superstition and folklore. In many ancient cultures, cats were believed to have magical powers and were often associated with the supernatural. Uh, In some traditions, cats were thought to be able to predict the future or bring good luck. In others, they were believed to be able to communicate with the spirits of the dead. In many cultures, black cats were particularly associated with witchcraft and were often thought to be familiars of witches. So how do you explain this bizarre sighting? Did the cat really start the fire? Or is there another, more grounded explanation for what's going on here? Share your theories with one another in the comment section down below. See, I don't know what happened. But I want to believe that the cat started the fire. That's way more fun. Our last clip of the day is quite a strange one. It's some security footage from a grocery store. It was uploaded to Instagram by a guide to combat. My guy look like First, he's up to no good. He is perfectly normal. My guy look like he's up to no good. That is until this happens. Whoa, whoa. Oh, no, not him, too. Oh, no. Out of nowhere, the man starts acting strangely as though he's seen something horrible just above him. It's so crazy how that happens to people. He panics, then appears to collapse to the ground. It's so crazy how that happens. So what did the man see that caused such a drastic reaction? I don't, Some... I don't know if he saw anything as much as he went into uh, maybe uh, a panic attack or or a uh, a seizure. It, I, that I'm thinking more towards a seizure. What? People thought the man was just an actor, perhaps playing a prank on the security staff monitoring the cameras. Mm -mm. But others aren't so sure, saying the sudden change in behavior looks quite genuine. Yeah, I think he had a seizure. So what do you think's going on here? If it's a seizure of some kind, why does he look upwards as though something is coming to get him? Ah, that's something that I'm still baffled by because we've seen several videos where 
guys have done this exact same thing before they go into a full-blown seizure. There have been a few other clips floating around recently showing people behaving very similarly. Right. Love to hear your theories on this bizarre behavior in the comments down below. I don't know, just... We ain't never seen nothing like this until that dang on vaccine. That's all I'm saying. Some security footage that people claim to pick supernatural events is disturbing because of its banality, because of how closely it matches our everyday experiences. Then there's this footage from YouTuber Terra Latente. The footage appears to be from a security camera set to night mode mounted in a high corner of a hallway. What in the world? As the footage begins, we see a person standing in the corner, their face and body only inches from the wall. What in the world are they doing? They would just so conveniently be doing this in the in the one corner where there's a camera that can record them perfectly. After a few seconds, something black flies off to the right. Oh, what the heck was that? Evil. Then the camera glitches heavily. Evil. But watch what happens next. What's gonna happen? Oh, day. Was that a wheelchair? An empty wheelchair rolls through the room. <laughs> the person then turns to the camera. We can see that her eyes seem to glow in the dim light of the room. What the heck is going on? It's unclear on? when or where this footage was recorded, nor do we know who the person in the footage could be. Some viewers have suggested it could just be a snippet from a horror movie, but no one's been able to identify which film exactly. So let us know, have you seen this clip before? Is it just a movie or could it be some real security footage? Let us know down below. I feel like everything is just happening way too perfect for this camera to catch it, for it to be real. <laughs> I don't know. It almost felt like, there. he said this is a female. It almost felt like she was shocked by this chair rolling by too. And then she's going to turn around and look directly into the camera. Like, come on. Acting much? This next one's also been doing the social media rounds. This version was uploaded to Instagram by The Inexplicable. The clip begins with someone sweeping up a pool of water at what appears to be a cemetery. Okay. Soon, something unusual starts happening. With the water? Is it going down the drain of, of, of some sort? Oh, that water is doing some. What the what? What is going? Oh heck no! Nah. Look at that. All of water begins to swirl in a strange way. That what? Look at that. Given the setting, many viewers were quick to fling this sighting into the realms of the paranormal. That's crazy. Many believe it could be a spirit trying to make contact. FTL, if it's your first time live with us, a more down to earth chat. theory suggests that there could be a gap under the tiles causing the water to swirl and bubble as it partially drains. Maybe. Or perhaps the water is reacting to a draft coming up through the tiles. Unfortunately, the clip is just too brief to make a definitive call, and without being there in person, it's impossible to know whether there actually is a gap in the tiles or not. Ms. Still, it. Miss Bastel. Thank you. Now nah, much support making baby. itself known at this old cemetery. This bizarre drone footage was submitted to our Slaptam subreddit. The user, who has since deleted their account, says that they were flying their drone through a large field at night time when they spotted something rather unusual. Take a look. Yo, why does thing look like a rooster? <laughs> Tell me. <coughs> Tell me that it don't look like a rooster. A big, giant rooster. That's not moving. Oh, it's moving. It just moved his wing. The drone, which is fitted with a night vision lens, spots a strange looking figure standing in the middle of the field. Mm. 
Man, whatever that is, is humongous. At first glance, it looks like the classic depiction of an alien grey, small body and a large bulbous head. Nah, I like a rooster. DOP notes mm. that at first they thought it was another hunter, but then they realised the figure is only about four foot tall. You sure? That they like it. However, might be some huge. viewers have pointed out that it could just be a case of misidentification. If you look closely, it's most likely just two deer standing very closely together, ah, giving a strange perspective. That, that is a possibility. I can see that possibility. So sadly, this is a Dang, now I can't unsee it. That probably is two bulls. Ah. And headed alien grain just chilling in a field. Dang, now nah, that's two bulls. It's the one big bull right here. He's facing this way, and the other big bull is is laying down on the ground, and his head is this way. Ah, I see it. I can't unsee it now. It's too vivid. It look like two bulls, rather um, they be. After checking out this weird footage, you may start paying more attention to the little details when your favorite star is posing for the paparazzi. Okay. In this video, we see megastar Scarlett Johansson talking to a reporter at the Golden Globe Awards. While well, you may be focused on the interview, you might want <laughs> I was focused on something else. Uh... Keep an eye on the woman in the background. Um, Philip Seymour Hoffman winning for best actor for drama. Okay. Um, I think, you know, just, uh, you know, being... The... Did you spot anything unusual? As Scarlett speaks to the reporter, the woman walks behind her. Then a man in a dark suit quickly follows her. A few seconds later, the man emerges on Scarlett's right, but the woman does not. Um, Philip Seymour Hoffman winning for best actor for drama. Okay. What happened to the woman in the black dress? Where'd she go? There doesn't seem to be a lot of room between Scarlett and the wall behind her, so it doesn't seem possible that the man in the suit could have passed behind her without the woman in black getting out of the way first. She never walks behind Scarlett. Many people who have viewed this footage have theory. Yo, that woman just went through a freaking portal that the woman simply vanished into thin air, while others insist it's just a trick of perspective. No, it's not. Have fun watching this one over and over, and let me know where you land in the comments down below. Um, Philip Seymour Hoffman winning for Best Actor for Drama. Okay. Is it scarier to think that a ghost or a human intruder is exploring your property at night time? The following still shots from a security camera human. make you ponder on just that question. The images, which were posted by Redditor S. Casey. Who is this man? He, he, he got a belly like he was looking for beer. He show a human figure approaching the back of a house. The photos come from a security camera on the property, which takes pictures when a motion sensor is triggered. The images were sent to the Redditor by their mother-in-law without an explanation. The user's first reaction was to ask, why are you sending me an old blurry image of grandma? That don't like a grandma, that look like somebody grandpa. The creepy thing is, their grandmother Nancy passed away in 2013. The mm. security footage was captured this year. Compare the figure in the security picture with these photos of Nancy. That don't look like the same person. I swear. Oh, wait. No, I can actually see it now. It looked like she might be holding like a little purse or something. That looked like that could actually be her. There is certainly a strong resemblance. Dang, that's crazy. She came back from the dead. There are many other... F I need some water, y'all. I'll be right back. ...actors that suggest something odd is indeed happening here. The property is in a gated community and has a six-foot-high fence meaning it'd be very difficult for someone to enter the backyard. Also, the figure appears to be somewhat translucent, even though the rest of the background is quite clear. The original poster hopes that it is an apparition of her grandmother returning to make sure that everyone's okay. But many commenters are concerned that the figure is a human intruder, an idea that most deem even more frightening. So would you be more comfortable knowing this is a wandering spirit or a nosy neighbor? Let me know in the comments down below. Does this next video really show paranormal activity? You've been the judge.
In the brief clip uploaded to Reddit by Stephen Needs Help, we see a kitchen drawer opening seemingly all by itself. The poster says that his sister recorded the footage around midnight and that it's actually the first time they've got something on camera. Slowly, slowly. It's a rat behind well, the your video drawer. Has it's probably a rat behind the drawer pushing it out. Any upvotes on Reddit? Some viewers think the drawer itself might be unlevel. Hey, would y'all prefer there to be a rat behind the drawer pushing it out or a ghost pushing it out? In this case, making it open slowly when it's packed with items in an imbalanced way. Nah. Either that or a fine piece of wire or fishing line has been attached to the drawer and someone is pulling it open off camera. That's a possibility because Potato 99 is happening right now and it makes it hard to see fishing line. As is often the case with these types of videos, we have to take... It's not all the way Potato 99, it's more like Potato 2009. The poster's word. Does it really show some paranormal activity? I think we can hold off on calling the Ghostbusters on this one, at least for the time being. Many people are familiar with the story of the Titanic, the largest ocean liner of its time to set sail across the ocean. But have you ever wondered about the spirits of those who went down with the ship? You may indeed start to wonder after seeing this footage from the YouTube channel. Oh, I've been here before. I have been here before. I was wondering, like, yo, this looks so familiar. This is a Titanic museum. It was, it was a very dope experience to walk around this place. And it's shaped like a boat. So you like walk in a circle. And they had water on like, on what's supposed to be like the front of the boat, the front of the Titanic. And you can feel the temperature of what the water was that day when those people, you know, when the, when the Titanic hit that glacier and it, and it sunk and you feel the temperature of what that water was that same day. Whew! That water's so cold. Man, I was trying to leave my fingers in that water as long as I possibly could. I literally thought I was going to lose my fingers. I was like, bro, if I were to hit that water, my whole body, instantly, I'm done. I'm done. All ghost hunt weekends. The Titanic set sail across the Atlantic Ocean in April of 1912. Unfortunately, most of the passengers never reached their destination in the United States. On April 15, the ship struck a large iceberg in the middle of the ocean, tearing a large hole in the ship's hull. In a matter of hours, the ship sank into the icy waters of the Atlantic, killing 1,500 of its approximately 2,220 passengers and crew, making it one of the deadliest ocean disasters in history. In this video, a team of ghost hunters visit the Titanic Museum, where numerous artifacts from the sunken ship are prominently on display. Evidently hoping that some spiritual energy from the tragically deceased passengers might still be clinging to these artifacts, they try to contact spirits within the museum. These meters going nuts. Can you stop for a second? I know where they are. This makes so much sense that they would be um, during the ghost investigation where they are. This is supposed to be like the corridors where, you know, you had the the people that shared little rooms and bunks, the poor people that were on the boats because it was levels to it. You had the, the broke people, you had the, the middle class people, you had the, the more wealthier people, you had the really wealthy people, right? And this was like where the broke people were and you'd be like, bro, how y'all sleep in this tiny little room with these tiny little beds and yeah it was pretty cool i'm the guy with the gifts in an exhibit featuring metal gates from the ship behind which many lower class passengers were locked left lower class passengers you hear that all that stuff is so specific to drown as the ship filled with water they ask any spirits to show themselves can you show yourself to us the camera remains focused on the door for quite a while. I didn't even know you could do a ghost hunt here. I would have done it if I knew. Only panning away briefly. However, when the camera does pan over the gathered crowd, look at the back closely. We can't hear you if you're in there. She's not with y'all? 
a strange figure in a dark cloak slips behind the eagerly watching onlookers. Did that? She's not with y'all? Those who were there that day say they never saw anyone or anything that fits the description of this eerie dark figure. Interesting. They don't know who that is. So is this a spirit that's somehow attached to a remnant from the ill-fated Titanic? Watch the footage again and decide for yourself. We can't hear you if you're in there. We're gonna leave. Kassara, we're doing well, how you doing? It's thought that children might be more sensitive than adults to the paranormal. And animals, or pets. Maybe it's just because of their active imaginations, but kids often claim to feel and see things that grown-ups can't. This video uploaded to TikTok by... Another clip we don't see 50 11 times. Paranoid Normal shows a photograph that might just prove this to be true. The pic was snapped by a young girl on her toy camera. According to the girl's mother, their child had been seeing someone in her room and started refusing to sleep in there. On the day that this photo was captured, the girl and her mother were sitting inside the house all alone. As the girl was taking pictures, she turned and said, Mummy, there's a man in my photo. Her mother grabbed the camera and was startled to see the dark silhouette of a manly figure standing in their hallway. As the poster says her husband was at work at the time, who or what could this shadowy figure be? Is it possible that the young girl has captured photographic proof that there really is something else inside their home? Perhaps it's time for her parents to believe her. These next two photos were posted to our Slaptam community page over on Facebook. Captured by Kaza Highlands, the first image shows a typical scene at the park. Children are running around having fun and we can see the poster's son in the foreground. However, I'm paying particular attention to the little girl in the background, just to the right of the poster's son's shoulder. Okay. In the second photo, taken about 15 seconds later, the young girl doesn't seem to be there anymore. Instead, it looks as though she's been replaced by a pale, ghoulish looking figure. Right. That's weird. When the photos were posted to Facebook, viewers seemed to be at a loss to explain the second image. Could this just be a case of pareidolia, caused perhaps by the camera itself, or is there something more mysterious going on here? Take a look at these images side by side and judge for yourself. Maybe it is the same girl. Old jails are often favourites of supernatural enthusiasts. Their long and often violent histories seem to suggest that they might play home to some rather restless spirits. Okay. Paranormal Investigators American Ghost Project posted this video to our Slaptam subreddit. It was captured at the Sikiston City Jail in Missouri on one of their static infrared cameras placed in the old booking room. Okay. In the beginning of the video, we can see one of the ghost hunters walking from right to left before disappearing from frame. Take a look at what happens next. What? Oh! 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 Orb! A few seconds pass before a bizarre light looks as though it emerges from the wall of the jail. From the wall? It then seems to follow the woman out of the room. Yo, you better look behind, you got some power! The following. shape appears to leave a trail behind it as it moves. And while this effect might be explained by the camera's frame rate, the object itself is not so easily dismissed. This certainly is a strange capture. What do you think it could be? Take another look at the footage and let me know your theories in the comments down below. Because the trail that follows behind it, I don't know, is giving paranormal. Most people expect to feel safe leaving their house in the broad light of day. Sure. However, as you can see in the following footage uploaded to YouTube by Global News, even the daylight hours aren't a strong enough deterrent for some creepy people. Now you're definitely being followed, like 100%. The footage was captured at around 5.30pm by a... Ah, I remember this clip. 
smart of her. So what she did was she walked, sped walk to this skate park and she let it be known to the guys that were riding their skateboards there that this man was indeed following her. Woman in Vancouver, Canada, as she was making a quick trip to the store. She claims that she noticed a strange man walking close behind her. She stepped off the path to let him pass. However, he kept following her. Wisely, she took out her phone and began recording. What was he going to do with this woman? We can see the man, whose face is covered by a mask, following the woman for some time. Trying to hide his identity. Eventually, she reaches a local skate park, where she asks a group of strangers if she can wait with them until the man leaves. Hey, do you mind if I, guys, if I sit with you guys? This guy's literally been following me in circles yeah, that's cool. for like 40 minutes and I've been recording it. One of the Good Samaritans then confronts the stalker, who soon leaves. Wow. The woman says that in retrospect, she probably should have phoned the police, but in the stress of the moment, her priority was getting somewhere safe and staying ahead of her pursuer. Right. She also noted that she's heard from people that the man has been in the area quite a bit and that she's positive she'll run into him again. The brazen way in which the man follows the woman is... So she still should have called the police or filed a police report and showed them the footage. Because it's undeniable that this man was following her. Even to the skate park. When she stopped, he stopped. He was following her. ...alarming, especially seeing it during the day. If I was her, I would be like... Y'all find this man, and when y'all do, let me know who he is so that I can put a restraining order against him. That ain't gonna stop him from following me or trying to do whatever he wanted to do, but it will most certainly be a penalty to pay if he does. Many supernatural enthusiasts believe that certain locations are more likely to be haunted than others. Places that see a lot of death, like battlefields, cemeteries and hospitals, are high on the list when it comes to capturing proof of the paranormal. Yeah. Reddit user Arachnid Altruist uploaded this clip that might show evidence of a ghost roaming the halls of the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. Take a look. Okay, let's look, let's see. Got this girl take posing for the picture, for the camera. Oh, what the heck? Yo! At first, the clip can be a little confusing as it shows a woman scrolling between two separate pieces of video at once. Right, I was The video so on the left shows a woman pushing a trolley. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? You can see clearly that there doesn't appear to be anyone standing behind her. Right, but in this shot... In the second clip, we can see briefly the head of someone standing to the left of the woman. It's visible only for a split second before it vanishes from view. Is that the same woman, though? The woman who's holding the camera then explains that if you watch closely, you can see a shadow pop into view shortly after. Dang, you do see the that. The clip then continues, showing the hallway with two women walking towards the door. However, there appears to be no trace of the mysterious figure seen earlier. Very true. Y'all, 25 more likes is all we need. We got a thousand live viewers. We're trying to get 500 likes by the end of this live stream. I appreciate y'all for the likes. As usual, several viewers thought that they might have solved the mystery. They suggested that the whole thing might be a trick of perspective and that one of the people that we can see later walking down the hallway actually is the mystery person. Mm. So what do you think? Is there a ghost haunting the halls of the children's hospital in LA? Or can this footage be explained in some other way? Watch the clip again and let me know in the comments. I feel like it can be explained in some other way. Are our eyes playing tricks on us? Or is there something sinister in this room? This Baffling baby cam footage. Uh-oh. This video posted by Redditor Notel4117 shows real-time footage on a video monitor. 
Yeah, the what? camera is set up in the Redditor's cousin's room while the user is house-sitting for his aunt. No one else is in the house. So why does the monitor appear to show a dark silhouette standing by the desk? Look at Tell that. that doesn't look like someone standing in the room. That is crazy. First, he takes us on a quick tour of the room, recording it with his camera. There's no one in here. That's crazy. Mm -mm. He pans from the desk to the bed, demonstrating that there's no one else in the room. Closet. The OP even cracks open the closet door to take a look. It's dark inside, but there's no sign of life. Nothing. When the cameraman goes back to the living room, he picks up the monitor, which shows the live feed from the room he was just in. Right on the monitor here. Now, there appears to be a short, dark figure behind the stuffed dinosaur. Tell me that doesn't look like someone standing in the room. Right. It appears to have a head and ears, but its body is just a dark blob. That's crazy. The figure doesn't move, but it doesn't disappear either. It doesn't react when the cameraman throws a ball into the room. Dang, we saw the ball. Okay, that, thing right. didn't, that thing didn't budge. Some people believe that the figure is just a shadow. The poor quality of the monitor's camera is making the stuffed dinosaur's face look ghostly as well. Right. Many commenters think that they would have a better explanation if they could see the cameraman moving in real time on the monitor's screen. But apparently he's too afraid to go back into the room. So what do you think's going on here? Would you dare enter in an effort to get some answers? Let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, he did that already. It's not there. Supposed to be standing right there. It's not there. Ever had a creepy feeling like you've been watched, but when you turn around you realise there's no one there? Well in this video, uploaded to the Slaptam subreddit by Fella Mundo, it seems that the poster managed to capture video evidence that someone was indeed watching him from afar. Take a look. I had a feeling it was going to be this clip. We done seen this about 50 11 times. There Look at appears that. to be a Y'all see that face? Woo! Pale, ghostly face staring at him from the window. Some watching him for real. The poster claims that he captured this unnerving footage early one morning while he was taking an outdoor whiz on his aunt's property in Gainesville, Florida. He goes on to say that at the time he captured the footage, all his family were asleep. He also notes that his family has a darker skin tone, unlike the face seen in this video. As the footage continues, the poster actually goes to the window to get a better look inside. And However, as it does, the face seems to just disappear. The face is gone. That's crazy. They might be deeper in there somewhere. He even points the camera inside the room and there's no trace of anyone anywhere. After the clip was posted online, several viewers wondered why the- Hey y'all, real quick, shout out to y'all. Thank you for the 500 likes. We're actually almost at 600. I, I think we can do it by the end of the video. We got another about 12 minutes left. I think we can do it. We got over a thousand live viewers. Welcome. Welcome to the live. Video suddenly ended just as he peeks inside the window. The poster's response was that he was using Snapchat to film the incident, which has a limited amount of recording time. So who or what was what? Why, why film Snapchat? Why not just use the camera app on your phone? Watching the poster from the window. Could it have been a ghost? Or is there another way to explain this chilling footage? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. White face. When you're stuck in traffic, there's little you can do except wait for it to begin to move again. In this creepy clip shared to YouTube by WRTV Indianapolis, take a look at what can happen while your vehicle remains stationary. A lot. A lot can happen. 
Oh, we've seen this before. Stop! The footage was captured on a cell phone by a woman stopped in Avon, Indiana. She's a Karen. In the beginning of the clip, we see a man exit a dark car that's alongside the woman's vehicle. Strangely, the man appears to be recording the woman on his cell phone as he approaches the car's window. Allegedly, he might not actually be recording. Suddenly, things go from creepy to terrifying as the man approaches the passenger side door. I was wondering, I'm like, what does this man think he gonna do if he would've got inside that car? I'm glad she locked it before he can get over there. Thankfully, the door's locked. However, he continues trying to open it, likely trying to intimidate the woman. She yells for him to stop and he eventually returns to his car. That's ridiculous. What harm was you about to bestow upon this woman? That's messed up. While other motorists can be heard honking their horns at him to move his vehicle out of the way. <laughs> Luckily, the woman who captured this footage had the presence of mind to lock her doors and film Facts. the ordeal on her cell phone to later assist the police with their inquiries. This footage certainly serves as a stark reminder Stop. to always keep your car doors locked while you're stationary in traffic. Facts, keep them doors locked, baby. Cause heck, even if you don't have an incident or an encounter with somebody that you physically see first, doesn't mean that if you're in traffic, somebody might pull up behind you, get out their vehicle, get into your vehicle, and who knows what could happen from there. Keep that thing on you. That's all I'm saying. This oh, dang. Y'all got a spirit in the picture with y'all. Who, who's that lady? Y'all know that lady, don't y'all? This image was sent to us by a man named Chuck Walters. He says that the picture was captured in Bay City, Michigan at a golf club adjoining a resort hotel. The sender claims that the photo was actually given to him by a staff member who said that the ladies seen in the pic were checking out the facilities for an upcoming wedding. Okay. While the exact golf club where the image was captured isn't mentioned, the sender does note that this particular one had a troubled past with several suicides committed on the premises. What? The ghostly figure could be the result of long exposure. However, it seems unlikely as nothing else in the image is blurry or transparent. And then the way the hair looks and then the way the clothes kind of look? Mm-mm, I don't think so. I don't think it's long exposure. Because that would be insinuating that one of these three girls created this image back here, too. Furthermore, the women seem to be using a cell phone to take the picture. So why would it be set to take a long exposure photo? Right. Does this golf resort really have a resident ghost? Until more information comes to hand, this mystery will have to remain unsolved. Now that I wouldn't be too bothered by... Uh, uh... A resident ghost, so you saying that ghost ain't gonna come home with me? Cool. It's not uncommon for people to be scared of the dark. Strange noises, mysterious shadows. Many people talk about the hat man or shadow people, beings who they claim to visit them while they sleep. This hat man might as well be men in black. I don't might have captured evidence of just such a visitation. Image, which was posted to Facebook by Mark Summer, was supposedly captured by his friend's 13-year-old daughter. In it, we see the interior of a room. In front of the dresser, there's the unmistakable silhouette of a man wearing a hat. It looked like he stopped to watch some soccer on The TV. young girl who captured the pic was experiencing sleep paralysis yeah. at the time, a phenomenon during which you feel as though you're awake, but you find you can't move your body at all. I hate sleep when paralysis. When she finally snapped out of it, she heard a noise coming from across her room. She quickly grabbed her cell phone and took this photo. I hate sleep paralysis. Many people who experience sleep... You know what? That's not something I ever thought of. Like when you're experiencing sleep paralysis to look over into a corner to see if anyone or anything could be there. I've never done that. My goal always was to get out of the sleep paralysis state because of how eerily uncomfortable it was. Sleep paralysis are also known to see terror-inducing nighttime visitors. 
In fact, after this photo was posted online, several viewers said that they too had been visited by a similar figure throughout their lives. Mm. Some say that the Hat Man or similar shadowy figure sightings occurred during the period between sleep and waking. But mm. could this photo prove that this entity doesn't just lurk in our dream state? Have you ever seen the Hat Man or a shadow person? Maybe it was more than just a figment of your imagination. It always pays to be aware of your surroundings. This terrifying video uploaded to YouTube by Inside. Bro, she was on the move. How did she know? The addition shows what could happen if you aren't on your guard. A New York woman was walking home from work in the wee hours of the morning when she noticed a stranger lurking near the entrance to her apartment building. Mm. What happens next will make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Ooh, she know. She know, boy. Open up the door. Excuse me. Excuse me. As you can see, the man follows her into the building. Man. Security footage from a camera near the woman's door shows the frightening moment she tries desperately to unlock her door. Hurry up, girl. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Then, just as she steps inside her apartment, we see the man come running around the corner. He reaches for the door just as she manages to push it closed. Safe. And then he gonna say, open the door. Yo, However, to, you think he gonna open the, I mean, you think she gonna open the door? You stupider than you look, fool. Uh, the nightmare doesn't end there. The man remains outside the door for several more minutes, knocking and repeatedly demanding that she open the door. Open up the door. Excuse me. Call the police on this dude. Thankfully, the wise woman kept her door tightly locked and the authorities were soon alerted. When friends get together, there's usually lots of pictures taken to remember the good times. Another photo this bomb. next photo was posted to Facebook by the Crime Lab. The image shows a group of friends as they were taking a walk in an unlit rural area early one morning. I'm trying to see what, what the issue was with this picture because I'm pretty sure we've seen this picture before. According to the poster, one friend asked to take some photos of the group. As there was little light, they decided to use a flash. Everything seems relatively normal in this first photo. Ah, oh, I remember now. However, take a look at the second one. Woo, that's crazy. Where this fool come from? There's a from? figure with a ghostly pale face standing behind the friends on the left-hand side. I do not remember this picture. This is different than what I was expecting. The poster notes that it wasn't until yeah. he was going through the photos sometime later that he was shocked to see the extra figure. What? He also said that no one who was there at the time could identify who this person is. He was a photo bomber. Looking at the figure, he certainly does give off a ghostly vibe. One commenter even suggested that the figure looks like the ghost of someone who died of frostbite. The poster goes on to point out that if you take a close look at the figure's legs, they don't look human even been suggested that they actually resemble hooves. hooves yeah that's crazy this is a rather unnerving photo Where as the group was from? in a remote unlit location early in the morning it seems like there would be little chance that a random passerby could stop and pose for the photo and for then leave real? without anyone noticing that's crazy if the ghostly photo bomber was unrecognizable to anyone else in the picture it certainly does make you wonder about who or what it might have been he's so pale we'll leave this one up to you the viewer does this photo really show a ghost or is there another way to explain the mysterious figure's presence he's so pale Are we being visited by aliens? Yes, if we so, are. is the military aware? Yes, they These are. questions continue to be asked worldwide. In this video posted to Instagram by Carol Kappel Official, we see footage that might just answer both these questions at once. Let me see it. The clip begins as the camera holder focuses in on an object that appears to be hovering in the sky. Take a look. airplane suddenly a jet comes thundering into view seems to circle the area 
The footage then cuts to the object again. This time, the jet also comes into view. Suddenly, the mysterious object seems to vanish from sight. But I still see the airplane. Dang! In the description, the poster notes that the footage was captured in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and that the jet or jets seen are actually from the Brazilian Air Force. Mm. So does this video show proof that the government is aware of extraterrestrial visitors? Watch the clip again and decide for yourself. I believe they are very much aware. Because aliens are real! Look, it disappeared. This first piece of footage on our list was posted to TikTok by Sasha Quadruple Zero. It's an excerpt taken from the telecast of the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. As foreign dignitaries, friends and loved ones parade ceremoniously past the decorated coffin, several guards stand stoically on the lookout. Suddenly, something rather strange happens to the guard on the bottom right. Take a look. Yo, what the heck? What the heck? The guard's headpiece begins to fray out to the side as if lifted by some sort of unseen force. Right. Some commenters thought it could be caused by the wind. There is a candle behind the guard that's also flickering. Where? However, the guests don't appear to be moving fast enough to be stirring up a breeze. Add to that, the headpiece's movement doesn't look like it's being blown about randomly. So is it the Queen playfully making her presence known, or is there another way to explain the movement of the guard's headpiece? Let me know your thoughts on this curious piece of footage in the comments down below. Strange. Interesting. I almost thought these were mops for a second. He over here talking about headpiece. I thought they were holding mops up for some reason in front of their heads. And this was like the little string from the mop that was flapping up for whatever reason. But this is some sort of headpiece. So what are they holding on to? What, yeah, what is this? It's not a gun. Is it wood of some sort? I don't know. I'm very confused. But anyway, y'all, we made it to the end of the live stream. The unexpected live stream. If y'all had a good time, make sure you hit that like button for your boy. We got a, a, 1,100 live viewers in here. We're close to 700 likes. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. But we did it. We made it to the end of the live stream. I am tired. That was exactly what I needed so I could take my butt to bed. And now I'm going to do just that. Um, John says, hey, A-OK, -okay, whatever happened with your Karen neighbor and your Jeep? My Jeep all, and my neighbors, all that stuff. Well, no, my Jeep. They, that all that content gets posted on the AOK -okay Unplugged channel. If you want to go subscribe over there, you'll see more of the Jeep related content over there. I got some more stuff coming. Um, I did the Jeep. I did one of the Jeep reveal videos. It's, it's uploaded over there, but you can go check out that stuff over there. I got I got probably like five more vlogs coming within the next this month to that channel. So go check it out. And then um, what else we got going on? And my, my neighbor, that part two video, that's going to be posted on this channel tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to take my butt to bed. Y'all enjoy the rest of your evenings. 